in something a little firmer for, for worst case scenario and Absolutely. a bit more detail. Simon, we're Absolutely. going to have to leave it there for now, but sure. Simon McKeever, thanks very much indeed for joining us from our city centre studio. Brian, back to you. Thanks, Keelan. We're joined from Leinster House now by the uh, Fianna Fáil leader, Micheál Martin. Good afternoon, uh, Micheál Martin. Thanks indeed for uh, talking to us this afternoon. Um, this, is the, this is the third and uh, final budget under the existing confidence and supply agreement. We might talk in a moment about whether there could be an extension to that. But uh, in terms of the budget provisions announced today, where is the imprint of Fianna Fáil? Well, I think it, it, it primarily uh, is in the housing area, uh, and particularly in terms of the wider package on housing, uh, not least a new substantial and significant move on affordable housing. We believe home ownership is important. We believe working people and young people in particular should have opportunities uh, to buy their own homes at affordable prices. And so that 300 million initiative, I think, uh, does mark a significant shift in terms of the state, the government becoming involved in building and providing affordable housing uh, for working people. And in addition to that, the state building social housing uh, is extremely important. So Just what you're looking at here is a greater state intervention in terms of building social houses and also in terms of uh, providing affordable housing uh, for those uh, who need that type of provision. And also to remove some of the bureaucratic delays um, in terms of getting delivery, because right. ultimately this yeah. is about delivery. We haven't had delivery to date really at the scale right. we, 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 we need. Just in relation to the affordable housing scheme, can you explain to us what is additional, what is, been, what is, what is new today? Because the Minister in his own uh, speech says that they've already, there's already a £100 million uh, service sites fund, uh, although the overall figure is £310 million over three years. So, so how, what, what, what level of additional funds will be spent available next year? There's a £200 million additional funds. Originally the Minister had made an announcement of £20 million. Uh, so obviously we've dramatically increased the allocation um, in relation to that. So you're looking at about 6,000 houses over uh, that three-year period, obviously in the, in the latter part of it because of, of, of getting it started and so on like that. Um, but up to now, there really hasn't been a significant move on affordable housing mm -hmm. um, for people out there in the workplace because we know house prices are too high. We know that rents are too high. We know there are too many uh, children and families in emergency accommodation. So across the full range of measures, I think there is a comprehensive series of measures uh, in the budget but in, in relation to housing. In relation but, to this, sorry, on the affordability, right. just on this affordability scheme, yeah. it's 6,000 houses over three years. Um, I mean, we know that our, our housing demand is something like 25 or 30,000 homes a year. So uh, it's a relatively small contribution to addressing that enormous need, is it not? But if Fianna were in government, we would be doing more, and we would have done more uh, before now in relation to that specific item. Of course, that 6,000 is in the context of significant thousands of other houses that will be built in terms of social houses that will be built and obviously houses uh, that will continue to be built in the private sector. So, uh, look, we accept it's a, it, the, the overall budget is quite modest, Brian, and we're, we're very realistic and we want to be honest with people. I'm not going to engage in high-flown rhetoric um, about a one budget, uh, but I do think, more importantly, it does mark a shift in terms of state intervention. Because if you look at the Minister's speech, actually, you can see where the problem has been for the last four to five years. The government has put everything into the housing assistance programme, the HAP initiative. Yeah. Up to 50,000 houses have been provided through that mechanism. Um, and in all their plans, there's been a minority, a significant minority of house provision or housing solutions, as he calls it, uh, provided right. through building itself. Yeah. We want to move to the state but building been, the houses. That's you, where we're moving. Okay. But you've been strongly critis, critis, critical of rebuilding Ireland. You're among those who, who are saying that the plan is failing. And in effect, we've had really, I think it's fair to say, to some extent, the, the representation of rebranding Ireland, uh, of rebuilding Ireland in this, uh, in, in this budget. Uh, you supported the motion last week condemning the government's housing policy. Uh, and yet you're going to support this budget, which the, the net additional contribution to the housing crisis is, is maybe 6,000 homes over three years. I know, but it's much more than 6,000 thousand houses. I mean, there'll be far more thousands of houses built across as a result of the budget and ongoing measures. Uh, what we're doing is we're facilitating the passage of this budget because we had a, have had an influence on the budget, not just in housing, but in social welfare in, in the five euros for pensioners and across the board in terms of education and once the beginning of an increase in capitation grants um, for schools to give schools some needed respite in terms of their funding uh, needs um, and, and requirements. And so therefore, 
the, the, the choice is you can have an immediate election prior to the budget in, you know, in, in, in terms of motions and that that go through the House, or you can try and do the hard bit, which is trying to influence the direction of policy. Remember, since the 2016 election, there has been a dramatic shift in budgetary policy towards investment in public services as opposed to tax relief for high tax income earners. Uh, these have been progressive mm -hmm. budgets over the last three years because of Fianna Fáil's influence. Right, well, and we've, we, we've brought a stronger social conscience, we believe, uh, to budgetary policy. Are well, we happy with everything, Brian? No, we are not. Mm -hmm. Are we entirely happy with confidence in supply? Of course we're not. Uh, in terms of we would have preferred to have been in government, we didn't get okay. the seats, well, now, talk, and therefore we okay. had to take this Indeed, particular route. Yeah. Well, now, talking of elections and confidence in supply, the, the current uh, agreement uh, expires with uh, this budget. Uh, there is a provision to review uh, the, the arrangement uh, at this point in its, uh, in its uh, cycle, as it were, in its life. The Taoiseach has said there's an open invitation for you to come and meet him and to discuss uh, continuing the arrangement. Uh, will you be taking up that invitation now? Well, actually, last July we had agreed we would contact each other we'd, and, and have another meeting. Uh, he, he chose an alternative route to that. I'll be ringing the Taoiseach myself later today um, to outline uh, our views in terms of how the review should take place. We honour our agreements. Uh, we made it very clear uh, that we, would, we wanted to honour a third budget uh, in the interest of stability and creating a framework for government to negotiate Brexit in the interest of the people. We also said we would enter a review in good faith. And there needs to be a review of the confidence and supply, particularly on why uh, certain areas have not been delivered upon mm. housing. We need to look at the health area in particular as well, Brian, because uh, it's not satisfactory that at the 11th hour uh, we're told about a 750 million supplementary. It suggests that the budgeting is awry. In other words, we think uh, the budget last year was right. never an honest one so, in terms of what was provided. So, so yes, we want to initiate a review. And we you'll will... be contacting the Taoiseach, you say, today? And what will you be proposing to him? Well, we'll be proposing that we would, and indicating to him that we want to um, uh, obviously engage in a review, uh, as we have committed to, it's in the agreement, um, and working out then the process by which that would be done uh, and the modus operandi of that review. And that will begin uh, Im immediately? Uh... Well, I think obviously you have Brexit next week in terms of the Council, we're conscious of that, um, and there will be some preparatory work in advance of, of the review. But you remember the Finance Bill, Brian, is due to complete on the 11th of December. So we have space between now and then. We're committed to supporting and we, the, both the Finance Bill and the Social Protection Bill. And in fact, we want more measures in the Finance Bill that will be consequent on today's budget. Uh, but there'll be a range of other areas that we want look to, to look at uh, because we can't carry but on th doing that, things as they are. Yeah, but does that, does that mean that this government goes into the new year not knowing whether actually you'll, you'll continue to support them under confidence look, and supply? We're, committing it, we're committed to a re review. I think it's, it's reasonable uh, that that has to be a thorough uh, review and it has to be one that's entered into in good faith. Um, and completed and actually, by Christmas? Well, that would be the, 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 that's exactly the objective, yeah. All right. Michal Martin, there we leave it. Thank you very much indeed. I think we're going to take a short break now. Back with more reaction uh, after uh, this uh, next couple of minutes.